Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to our Treasure Tribe YouTube channel. Misty Simpson and I are so excited to be here today um, to share with you a little bit about Park Lane and a little bit about her journey. Let me just quickly introduce myself. My name is Christy Goodman. I'm a company vice president here at Park Lane and on our Treasure Tribe. And I had the wonderful experience of meeting Misty virtually because that's how I do all of my Park Lane parties now. Um, a year and a half ago, like summer of 2022. And mm -hmm. so um, anyway, we've developed a wonderful friendship. She has um, just done wonderful things here at Park Lane. So I wanted you guys to hear her story. So hello, Misty. Hello. Yes, I am Misty Simpson. Um, I am now a stylist. Um, I My background is I am an acute care nurse practitioner. I worked in cardiac surgery for a lot of years. And met my husband, got pregnant with my son, and kind of got out of surgery. I'm now doing cardiology. Still medical, always medical, hospital clinic, um, but never in sales, per se. Never in direct sales um, at, at any point for a full-time job. So um, kind of dabbled in a few different things. But And then I met Christy, and things kind of, the tables kind of turned. So basically what you're saying is you had no experience and never thought you would do something like this. <laughs> no, That's definitely I not for income. It. No, I mean, I have done it for, you know, a discount here and there and which is actually um, how I got into Park Lane. I had never heard of it, which is weird. It's been around 68 years. You know, I'd never heard of it. I think I may have and just kind of passed it off. You sure. know, um, it, it wasn't something that, I knew about. So whenever a friend of mine had invited me to a party and I ordered from her, got connected with Christy virtually, and then she was doing some more sales. I was ordering more. She was just like, you should sell this. You you should sell this stuff. And I was like, mm, nope. I was actually in the hospital doing consult that day during our conversation. And I was like, negative. No, I'm not going to do it. Um, I'm way too busy. That's That's not me. I just like my jewelry here on the side. So, um, and then she just gave her magic words and, um, actually it was just, I honestly signed up as a stylist, um, for a discount. Yeah. Kind of what I do, you know, I signed up, um, in, I think April or May of 2022, just for a discount. I got the kit and she wanted to launch me, which is the appropriate thing to do. And I was like, yeah, sure. You know, I can get some friends, family, earn back, a discount. earn back your commission get some free jewelry. Why not? Yeah. And kind of get the word out, but I love yeah. doing parties. I mean, it is fun. Right. And so, um, I actually had a couple of people who wanted to do a party. I was like, no, I don't want to be a stylist, you know? So Christy did them for me. <laughs> she took them under her wing. She did it fabulous. Um, that summer, I, um, I actually lost my mom that summer. So I kind of had a lull and then, um, I actually was like, you know what? Let me do a couple more parties. I actually kind of watching everybody got inspired and I tried it. I actually had a friend sign up underneath me as a stylist and she just kept doing them. She was doing lives. I don't like being on live still. It's very awkward to me. <laughs> Y'all uh, would believe that though. If you <laughs> saw Misty's lives, you would think she's like, you know, to she's an actress. <laughs> not at all. Not at all. I just figure... You know, and I will tell you, the more real you are, because I mess up, I'm a goofball, I say the wrong words, but that's me, you know, and that's one thing about Christy and everyone who's taught me is like, they don't want to see some perfectionist because then they think they can never do it. Mm -hmm. But when I was like, oh my gosh, I don't even remember the name of this thing or the price of this. And it was okay. You know, people are like, oh, she's, she's normal. She's still misty. Um, but I did a party and it was fun. And so I had come out of 2020 in the medical field. It was then 2022. It was crazy. We'd been in lockdown. Um, and it was, it was an escape. It was something fun. Come in here, have the jewelry, um, not a mask on my face and, and you feel pretty and you have fun. It's kind of some girl time and kind of an escape, kind of a non-serious, um, avenue is how I took it. And we hear that a lot. There's there's a lot of people that come to Park Lane that are, you know, in more serious um, positions, a principal of an elementary school, an attorney like yourself in the medical field and uh, nursing. And, and it's just it's a lot of seriousness all day long. And so this way, you know, you can you can get your pretty on, you can 
um, kind of get back to your just, you know, female roots. And, and this is not just for females. Let me say that the top seller at Park Lane Jewelry, top seller worldwide is man. So anyways, but, um, but that's a little bit about Misty's background and how she found Park Lane through a party as a customer. So what made you, Misty, when you, when you were considering it, let's kind of go back a little bit. What made you decide, okay, I could try this. Like, what about it made you feel that you could try it? Um, I think it was you. Um, you made it seem very seamless and that like, hey, you know, give it a try. You never know. Um, and I like the discount. I kind of thought, you know, um, and I still feel that way, whether it's health foods, health, you know, supplies, supplements, whether it's the clothes, jewelry fits everyone. And I thought, you know, this will speak to everyone, every age, um, because the littles to the grandmas and it speaks to every size, you know, it's not a specific figure um, size at all. So I just felt um, this was possible. And it was with our everyday deal. It's it's possible for every income. So there was really no answer. And it's unisex. It's not just women. It's not just men. I just felt like it was a good opportunity um, just to see where it went with it. And I thought, if anything, not if I wasn't successful, if I if it didn't flourish, it would be something fun. You know, it'd be, you know, something fun Perfect. to try. So, OK, let's let's now fast forward. So <laughs> you're having a little fun. You're doing a little, you know, um, selling and a party here or there. And then what happens? Um, exactly. I was just kind of going along and, and honestly not paying attention to, you know, with Park Lane, they give away all these trips and they give away all these incentives and, um, the VPs and I was like, well, I'm not in that, you know, I'm not at that level. Um, so I was just doing my thing, doing a little party. I would have my own link on the side, you know, people would want to order. I was trying to go live every now and then because it was exciting and I did want to share it. And, um, and I don't remember what month it was. I think April or May, maybe of last year, there was a contest where when you submit $500, you know, par a party link, you get your name in a drawing. I didn't even know about the drawing. That's how like, <laughs> I was. And that's because you're busy. Yeah. But that's. And so, yeah, I um, didn't even know about the drawing, which is awful, but I submitted a party that night. I was like, oh, I'm going to submit this link. I got some, um, free jewelry I was getting some stuff for some other friends and then that caught my name in to a drawing for the Park Lane um, Paris trip not knowing and lo and behold me normal me in the hospital I was in clinic that day they drew my name to Paris I didn't even Paris know about it France, not Texas. Yeah. let's just declare yes. <laughs> yeah. yes the Mecca yeah. Eiffel Tower my dream place that um, I, I think I did know it was um, a trip that they were doing. But again, I have never, ever, ever won a trip, won incentives in any of my little side gigs per se. So um, yeah, Christy called me at work and um, people normally don't call me at work unless there's a problem or a medical issue. So of course I was like, is everything okay? What's going on? Um, and so she told me about that I won and I didn't believe her. <laughs> I did not I was like did they say my last name and I said well how many Miss Simpsons are there I mean it was it was funny I, I was so taken back and I'm like how did I win I didn't even enter um so it took a little bit to sink in and um yeah she had to send me the link or you know where they drew my name and I saw my name across the post and it still was very interesting to sink in. It took a, it took a minute. So Misty's going to Paris with Park Lane <laughs> in March um, of 2024. And I get to go with her. I'm super excited. Um, I earned the trip. And so anyways, explain to everybody what kind of then happened. Because you're like, oh my gosh, I've won this trip. And so what? Um, yeah, I, I won the trip. And I felt um, unworthy. Basically, I was like, how could they give me a trip to Europe? Um, little me who just, you know, was piddling in the in the jewelry. So it was very surreal. I was just, um, yeah, I guess I felt unworthy per se. Um, but I was like, you know what? 
it, it just kind of lit a fire under me, I guess, a little bit. And I was like, if they have the confidence and they actually do this for their stylists, I'm going to prove to them I deserve it. That's my personality. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I don't just take things, you know, I want to earn them. That makes me feel better, which is crazy. Um, I don't really win things, but it was a real trip. It was a real company. It was legit. And so I just wanted to work hard. So when I went on that trip, it wasn't, oh yeah, she got the freebie. She was the, she was the winner. Um, so I worked super hard. I partnered with Christy and, um, and I say I worked hard. It was fun. It was just what I was doing. I was just getting better. And More I was focused. Like, okay. You were focused. More focused. Yeah. More focused. Yeah. And I was like, hey, okay, this is a real deal. Like I could win another trip. I could actually earn a trip. Um, and so from the summer, I had a couple stylists join me. In the fall, I had a couple more, which was helping with the points. And then suddenly I saw a light at the end of the tunnel. And I was like, I mean, maybe I could like earn this. So I was and determined. You, have, you haven't even mentioned where this is too. No, it was in Dublin, Ireland. No, Ireland, <laughs> Dublin, Ireland, which I mean, like totally would never in a million years take a trip there, you know? And of course I'm telling my husband and he's like, well, yeah, I'll go. And I'm like, oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> so I said, okay, then I want to work for this. And I did. And um, I earned it. I earned it. And I am blown away. And I will say I'm a little proud of myself, you know, um, yes, you should it, be. It, it, it's like, it's attainable. It's attainable. And that's what me who is still working full time. I have not gone part-time to do the full-time park lane. Park lane is still just my fun side gig. Um, it's attainable. So I feel like everything in park lane, whether it's their incentives or compensation, they really, really make it attainable for I hate to say no, normal people, but, you know, day-to-day -day people who actually have a family and a husband and a kids and full-time job, but, but they want to share the jewelry and share the fun. So. Well, and honestly, Misty, I'm glad you said that because there's a lot of companies that, um, you know, for their incentive trips, which Park Lane takes two a year, you guys, okay? We take two a year. So next year, Misty's gonna, not only going to go to Paris, <laughs> she's going to Dublin, Ireland. <laughs> She's done Europe two times in 2024. I had to get a passport and I was so worried. I, I mean, I didn't even have a passport. I just got a passport. <laughs> but um, most companies, it's it's the the top echelon. It's the top, you know, that, that earn the trips. And so like myself, I've been in the industry for 15 years now, but um, early on, I was like, I, I'm just like you, Misty, I was like, oh, that's for those people. That's for those people. And so, um, but not at Park Lane. Park Lane, yes, it requires focus. Yes, it requires dedication and grit. But I wanted you guys to hear Misty's story because it is also for the person that is very busy, has a very serious job, has a very busy family, you know, spends a lot of time on the baseball field, <laughs> spends a lot of time hunting with her husband, you know, and, um, and still can do this and does it 100% pretty much from home through online parties. Yes, definitely. And, you know, there's some little tweaks that I've learned um, in the past year and a half, just, you know, things that have helped me time management wise. And so, I mean, again, and I say that only I am not it's so funny sidebar, but some people at work were like, what were you doing posting, you know, when you were seeing patients, but with Facebook, you can schedule your posts. And I have taught my stylist that. So you are not constantly on your phone. You are not constantly in your office. There are ways to schedule things and book them out and still work your full-time job successfully and work Park Lane, which- And, you and know, your parties, because I would like to mention that too. At first, Misty was doing all of her parties really, really, really like for real live. So, you know, if she had a party that week, she'd come home and she'd do her thing in the kitchen home with family and then she'd go to her office and do her party. But then she started embracing a third-party resource where she now records a party and she can stream that party live two or three or four times. So she's not necessarily having to be live after work. And that was a game changer for you. Huge game spread. changer. Yeah. Yes. Because I did feel at one point guilty that I wasn't out there, you know, getting my son to bed, you know, a couple times a night. And, you know, I started like, well, maybe this isn't for me. So I did go to the third party. I recorded it. It's the same jewelry. It's the same me. It's the same sale. I could do it for two or three parties, different parties. 
Just smart. Game changer. Just smart. Well, yeah. see, what would be any final tips you have for somebody that is considering this? Um, there's nothing to lose, basically. Um, try it. And it is, I will, I've done a couple other um, side jobs, side gigs, I guess, for fun, for the discount. Um, this by far has a better compensation plan. Even if you're seriously just, you know, doing it for a little fun and doing it for the discount, the compensation plan is better here. I was already making more, you know, than I did before. So that was kind of fun. And it's for everyone and it's affordable. And you never, never know. I have sold to people in my office. Once you start wear, you know, it's something you could wear every day. You know, it's not people won't see that you're taking supplements every day. Or, you know, it's just things that you, people when you're out and about, I had patients commenting on my jewelry and I'm like, eh, you know, <laughs> should I say something? But it is for everyone and, and it's fun. It's a lot of fun. I say go for it. I mean, even getting the kit and become a, becoming a stylist is not super, I mean, it's very super affordable. But then when you do your launch party, it will do, totally pay for itself and get you some money compensation. And that so party, yeah. And let's mention that the compensation rate starts at 30% all the way up to 50%. Misty now has worked herself up a couple of promotions by focusing on this trip and now earns 40% will never lose her um, percentage, will never lose her title. That's the way Park Lane works. And um, and so, you know, it's just exciting. It's been exciting to watch you and your growth um, and just the joy you've had from this. And your Misty, I will say, has been one of the most coachable people that I have worked with. She really wants to know the things and believes she can do it. Clearly she's driven. She's got a wonderful career. Um, but you know, she didn't know what she was doing and she's no. worked her way through it. So you no, can don't ever feel like you need a background in sales at all. And again, I'm very like, I'm not salesy. If you don't like it, no problem. Yeah. We probably have something you do like, you know, but, but here it is. Is it cute yeah. or is it not? You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It is kind of fun to, um, you know, it, it, it's in my profession, I'm helping people, I'm helping people feel better. I'm helping people, you know, that that's just me. That's actually what got me into the medical field. So I really have transitioned that into the jewelry. I'm helping people, whether it's buy gifts for others, whether it's get something that fits them and makes them feel pretty. So I kind of feel parallel that it, it it's, yeah. um, that's another reason I'm passionate about it. Well, thank you so much for sharing your story. I, you know, our desire was to just have you hear this and to maybe build your confidence and going, okay, I can give it a try too. So um, if you're watching this and you were invited by somebody, please contact them. Let them know you'd love to join us. I will tell you, it is an amazing time of year to join. Um, everyone's shopping as well as... Um, <laughs> as you, you need gifts too. So, um, so let them know and they can help you, uh, join us and, um, get going with our treasure tribe. So thank you, Misty. Have a wonderful day. And thank you guys for joining.